William Thompson was born in Belfast to an Irish mathematician. His mother, however, was from Glasgow, and at a young age, he moved to Glasgow when his dad took up a position at the university here. He studied as an undergraduate at the University of Glasgow and excelled. He then went to Cambridge to do a postgraduate, then came back to Glasgow at 22 as a full professor of physics. So today I'm talking about one of Glasgow's most respected scientists, William Thompson, who was later raised to peerage as Lord Kelvin. Kelvin was an ardent experimentalist. He believed that if you couldn't precisely put a number on something, if you couldn't measure and quantify, then you couldn't understand it at all. He was such a committed experimental scientist that it drove him to create the first physics lab in Britain, here at Glasgow University. And it was here, his lecture theatre and his lab, that he taught his students. Lord Kelvin was professor of physics at Glasgow University for over 50 years. And although he had offers from other prestigious universities around the world, positions higher in regard than his position he held here, he always chose to stay. Lord Kelvin was respected worldwide. He was an international science superstar. He was peerless. He had a long career in which he worked on many varied projects. He's well known for his contributions in some regards, but he equally made very many mistakes. Famously, he estimated the age of the Earth and arrived at an estimate of 40 million years. So confident was he in his own abilities that he then declared geology false and evolution impossible because both demanded that the Earth exist for much longer timescales. He was a gifted lecturer and actually created a lot of experiments to demonstrate his principles to the public. One such demonstration was the pitch glacier, which showed that a material that behaved like a solid over a long period of time, over hundreds of years, actually behaved like a liquid. The work he's most known for, however, is that to do with heat and temperature. The River Kelvin runs right through Glasgow's West End, through Kelvin Grove Park and right in front of Lord Kelvin's laboratory and it was after the river that he took his name. Absolute zero. It's a temperature at which all atoms stop moving, and it was discussed that Lord Kelvin put a precise number on it. Based on absolute zero, he devised a temperature scale, the Kelvin scale, which is used internationally by scientists. To give you an idea, the average temperature in space is two Kelvin, which is a very cold minus 271 degrees Celsius. It's incredible to think then that the international temperature scale that's adopted by scientists worldwide is thanks to Lord Kelvin and Glasgow.